So in this video, we are going to discuss that how we will differentiate between aldehyde and ketone. Okay. Which are those tests which are used to distinguish between aldehydes and ketones. Okay. Between aldehydes and ketones. There are two very important tests that we have to discuss, which are carried out, okay, in order to differentiate that if the given compound is an aldehyde or a ketone, okay, those two tests are Tollens test and Felling's test. So, firstly, we will discuss about Tollens test, okay, Tollens test. Now, in the Tollens test, we use a reagent which is called as Tollens reagent. And that reagent is ammonical silver nitrate. Ammonical silver nitrate. This is the Tollens reagent. Okay. Now, if we are having an aldehyde in that we are adding the ammonical silver nitrate, which is the Tollens reagent. Okay. And there is a condition. This reaction has to be carried out in the basic medium in the alkaline medium. Otherwise this reaction won't happen. So we have, we will add any base. Okay. Because this reaction has to be carried out in the alkaline medium. This results in the formation of RCOO negative. Okay. Carboxylate ion is formed along with that sulfur and water. Okay. So in this reaction, what will happen? This bright silver, uh, silver jo hai, that will be produced. Okay. Bright silver color will be produced mirror like, okay. Bright silver mirror like substance that will be produced, which is of the silver only. Okay. So that will indicate that yes, the given compound when it reacts with the Tollens reagent in the alkaline medium. Okay and bright silver mirror appearance is there. That means that the given compound is an aldehyde. Okay. So this is the Tollens test, which is used for differentiating the aldehydes from ketones. Okay. Now ketones, they don't give Tollens test. Okay. The ketones, they don't give Tollens test. This is important. Why they don't give Tollens test? Because they are not having the hydrogen atom attached to the carboxylate to the carbonyl group. In ketones, what we have, that is our C double bond O R dash, right? The hydrogen atom is not present in this carbonyl group. That is why ketone is not able to give the Tollens test. While this Tollens test is easily given by the aldehydes because carbonyl uh, group, carbonyl carbon, it is having this hydrogen. Okay. So this is about the Tollens test. Now, second test, which is done, that is Felling's test. Okay. That is Felling's test. In Felling's test, uh, we have to prepare two solutions. Okay. That is felling solution A and felling solution B. We have to prepare two felling solutions, felling solution A and felling solution B. Okay. This felling solution A is aqueous copper sulfate. Okay. Aqueous copper sulfate is the felling solution. And felling solution B is alkaline sodium potassium tartrate that is alkaline sodium potassium tartrate this is also called as Rochelle's salt okay phalanx solution b is also called as Rochelle's salt which is alkaline sodium potassium tartrate now what we will do we will add 50% solution A and we will add 50% solution B. Both of them, they will be added in the equal quantities. Okay. When these are added to an aldehyde. Okay. 50% of this, 50% of solution B we have taken. Okay. 
and that is added to an aldehyde and after adding to the aldehyde if reddish brown precipitates they are formed okay reddish brown precipitates if they are formed that will indicate that the given compound is an aldehyde okay that will indicate that the given compound is an aldehyde and again ketones they don't give these reactions okay ketones they also don't give felling test because it is again the reason is same which i have explained in the tollens test that ketones they are lacking the hydrogen atom on the carbonyl carbon okay rcor dash is there so hydrogen is lacking on this carbonyl carbon due to which this these ketones they are neither able to give the felling test nor tollens test okay and in felling test reddish brown precipitates are formed indicating the presence of aldehyde indicating that the given compound is an aldehyde and in this case this bright silver mirror mirror appearance is there indicating that the given compound is the <clears throat> aldehyde we just have to remember that tollens reagent is ammonical silver nitrate and felling test solution a and solution b solution a is aqueous copper sulfate and b is alkaline sodium potassium tartrate okay